What's up, Sasha Squad? We are back with another video, and today... Yeah, that's not real. <laughs> Y'all, our family just got a little bigger. We got a brand new puppy. The story behind this is quite possibly the craziest story situation that we've ever experienced. We went to a state, did not plan on getting a dog, left that state with a dog. We what? were not even supposed to be in that state. This is our new puppy. His name is Nash. We don't have a middle name for him yet. Maybe you guys should comment middle names because we need the suggestions. Um, Nash is a mini F1 BB golden doodle. So he's a double doodle. I know you guys are probably wondering where the heck is Rue? Rue is not here. We actually just got back from our trip and Rue um, stays with a babysitter or a dog sitter. Now, it's time for them to meet. It's time for them to meet. We've been waiting for this moment. We said we we're gonna vlog it. Now they have to meet. <laughs> you have a crazy, oh, you're waving to Sasquatch? Yes. She started waving a couple days ago and she doesn't stop. Like, she will wave at anyone and everyone. Nash is 12 weeks old and he's about to meet his dog sister, Rue, you guys know, who is two years old for the first time. I can't so. believe we have a dog. This was partially against my judgment. We'll tell y'all later. All right, so if you guys follow us on Instagram, then you know we got stuck in Nashville for 24 hours. Our flight basically got delayed and then we missed our connecting flight, so we had to stay the night in Nashville. And we decided since we got stuck there and we had to get a hotel and stuff anyways, we were like, let's get a little bit of a later flight out and just spend the day in Nashville. So I was kind of looking up stuff to do because we'd never been there together, so it was super fun. And I found this park, I was like, let's, let's go. I think it's like a super famous park in Nashville. It's Centennial Park, so let me know if you guys are familiar. Pull up to the park and there's a little gate with three Three golden doodle black golden doodle puppies Josh was like oh my gosh babe look there's puppies over there it's literally like our dream dog we always wanted a golden doodle before we ever got Rue and then since having Rue we've always wanted a I either have always wanted a black golden doodle or like a chocolate brown golden doodle and so it seriously was God because I'm like how is this our dream dog in the middle of a park that we weren't even supposed to be at? Also, since having Rai, we really wanted Rue to have a friend just because she is super jealous. And honestly, since we got Rue, we always said we wanted another dog so she could have a friend. But after having Rai, we were like, whoa, like this is crazy. Maybe we won't have another, get another dog. But let me just say that I had zero intentions of getting a dog. I had to literally convince Savannah. You guys, Josh peer pressured me. For 30 <laughs> minutes for us to get this dog. He was just calling my name the entire time. I was like, babe, stop. Everyone stop, we need to pray about this. And he's like, I already did. I'm yeah. like, no, you didn't. I, when I tell y'all, it was like top notch convincing. I was on my P's and Q's. I was literally, I ain't gonna tell y'all what I was doing, but I was literally trying to get this puppy. As soon as we were about to like make it final that we were gonna take him home, I was like, babe, wait, wait, wait. Like, are we sure? And I was like about to back out and Josh was like, literally looked at me like he was gonna cry. Don't get me wrong, like I am not upset that we have a dog or got another dog. Cause I kind of feel like once you have one dog, there's really no difference in two to one because it honestly probably almost makes it easier on you cause they can just like play with each other and entertain each other. Anyways, long story short, we got a dog in Nashville, the most spontaneous thing we've ever done. And we named him Nash in honor of Nashville. How you doing? Doing this all over again is just crazy. I'm already training him. Um, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna be crate training him as well. I forgot that I have to teach him how to walk on a leash. Like he doesn't know that he needs to walk on a leash. Hey buddy. One thing I will say though, he is potty trained, but he's pee pad trained. So we're training him to potty again, which is fine because we did that with Rue. Say hello Nash. Hey buddy. So I made a big mistake and I lost Nash's dog food. I think I lost it at the airport. Nash hasn't had breakfast yet and I feel like a terrible dad. Y'all know Rue only eats the farmer's dog and Nash will eventually have farmer's dog but we need to transition him over. So we're gonna go with his old food first and then kind of like mix it in there and then they'll both be on farmer's dog. Chicken and brown rice. Yeah, it's right here. Here you go. You want that small one? I think that's good. Okay. It's just big. I say we just get this. Okay. We don't really have any storage. You okay. One to one and three fourth cups per day. So that's literally like half a cup for breakfast, half a cup for dinner. Okay, but. 
Okay, I thought it would be a good idea to get Rue like a treat so she can, you know, just make her feel good because there's a new dog in her house. I don't know what to get. This is cute. I'm liking this Ben and Jerry's. I know, that's so cute. Ben and Jerry's for dogs? But look at this. It's a little pup cup whipped cream. And you, just... you know Rue doesn't like pup cups. She doesn't? No. She used to. Oh, wait. That's a cat bowl. Could you not, though? Is See, it... this is why I understand cats. Actually, I won't say it. Okay, yeah, leave, leave the cats on. Wait, but okay, hold on. We need four. Two for water, two for food. The food ones just go out when they eat, and the water bowl, bowls will stay there all the time. Okay. Or should they just have one water bowl? They each need their own water bowl. Wait, I don't think they do. It's just like in the last vlog, we talked about twins. Don't nobody want to share. Y'all let us know. If you have two dogs, do they both have their own uh, water bowl, or do they share a water bowl? I bet they share. Alright guys, so Rue and Nash just met for the first time. I feel like, honestly, it, it's not that it was like underwhelming, but I feel like Josh and I expected Rue to like flip out. And I think she was more excited to see us than she was to see Nash. But I get that because she knows us and she's just meeting Nash for the first time. But it was super cute and I feel like they're going to warm up to each other and then they're going to be besties. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys my outfit today because I am literally obsessed. I know the yoga pants have been back in for a while now, but I just haven't jumped on the bandwagon and it was finally time. I got all of this stuff from Halara. I've seen them on my Instagram sponsored for so long and I finally was like, okay, I need to order something. My sister's ordered stuff from them and she really liked it. So I was like, I have to see for myself. Like the length and the fit of these pants is seriously perfect. The quality too is amazing. Like I love how buttery soft it is. You just can't compare to like a great workout piece. Okay, so this is the same top, but these are leggings. They have like the same crossover waistband as the other flare pants. Also, everything that I'm wearing is a size extra small. And these are the seven eighths um, length, which is perfect for me. I'm like five one for reference. If you're also short, I would definitely suggest the seven eighths because they like hit perfectly at the ankle. Up next, I have these cute little pink flare yoga pants. These ones are a little bit different than the first ones. They don't have like the crossover waistband. They're also super cute, super comfy. I love the color. It's kind of branching out for me. Like I usually would do something, you know, more neutral, but I love the pink. I think it's super fun. Also these pants and the first flare pants that I tried on, they're the extra small petite. I'm always looking for flare pants that actually you know, don't drag on the floor. So, super cute. Okay, you guys, these next two pieces are literally so cute. I love a good strappy back. And then this little tennis skirt, this also has the crossover waistband, which I feel like is just so flattering. I was just telling Josh today that I wanna go play pickleball, and this skirt couldn't be cuter for that. Okay, last but not least is this little purple, um, I guess like, you could work out in this. I feel like it's just so cute. I don't know. I would definitely like play tennis or play pickleball in this. I don't know if I would like go for a run in it, but I totally could. It's so comfortable. One thing that I do really like about it too is the shorts are actually not attached that are underneath. All of their um, leggings are squat proof and you won't have any issues with like them being see-through or anything, which is super important to me. I do have a discount code for you guys. If you want to get 20% off, I was literally telling my sister, I was like, you have to get some cute stuff from Halara. I'm going to get a discount code soon and I have it. So it's 20% off if you use code J and S and that is on all regular priced items, not on the sale items. Seriously, don't sleep on Halara. If you guys do want to check it out, I'll make sure that I link 
everything down in the description below. All right, I'm about to do a mini unboxing because I got two packages while we were on our trip. One of them, I don't know what it is. I don't remember. And then the other one is something fun and exciting. Oh, <laughs> it's my contact lenses. Not super exciting, but I did need these, so this is actually great. Up next is a new diaper bag. This company reached out and wanted to send us a diaper bag. I don't know if you know, but we have a black diaper bag and then we also have like a tan one, but not this color. I thought this would be fun like two for summer because right now we have a black leather one and I feel like this brown leather, like tan leather is a little bit more summery, so. My friend Milena sent me this. You guys probably know who Milena is. She has a YouTube channel. This bag is honestly the cutest thing ever. It says Rai Rai and you know you can use it for literally like whatever you want but I, for me I feel like this is going to be super helpful just to put even like diapers, um, maybe like an extra change of outfit to throw in the diaper bag so you have easy access to it or like in your purse or whatever. The brand of this is Palmy Pineapple. I have one more package. <laughs> I got cowgirl boots. My sister and I are going to see Shania Twain. Shania Twain is like our childhood. Like them? You guys, Josh just woke up from a nap and I think he's still half asleep. The best thing about being a woman <laughs> You like my boots? I think I should just wear this outfit too. Girls and boys, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, hey, Lou, come here. You're still the number one baby in the family. Hey, <laughs> quick, Miss Rachel, ad break. <laughs> That's too high of a jump, Nash. Don't do it. Ruru, get off of him. Good morning, guys. It's next day, and this little one, can you say for breakfast today, I'm having hash browns and eggs? Can you say that? She's like, Mom, I do not know how to say that yet. I just wanted to give you guys a little tip if you are a mama or you're an expecting mama and you plan to do baby led weaning with your little, the easiest way for me I have found is, especially when she's eating breakfast, I just take off her jammies and then after that is when I'll get her ready for the day and put her in her outfit because it is so messy. Luckily what she's eating today isn't as messy, but like especially if I give her yogurt and stuff like that, it gets all over her. So I just find it's easiest to just take their clothes off and just throw a bib on them. And then at nighttime when she has her dinner, usually she just gets in the bath right after that. So it honestly works pretty well. And like when we're on the go and stuff and she's eating out and about, it's a little bit like more cleanly because I usually kind of help her if we're eating out. But I also wanted to show you guys, I do do like some purees and or these um, little smoothie pouches. I've tried a few different brands. I like Little Spoon. There's also, I think it's Once Upon a Farm. I like them too. Um, I love the clean ingredients in this. The only thing in this is mango, purple carrot, blueberries, pear, acai, oat flour, cinnamon, chia seed, and lemon juice. She's still kind of getting the hang of the pouches. Like I kind of hold them for her and help her, but. Are you eating your bib? Oh, you found some, you found some yummies in your bib. Baby led weaning does get easier because for us, we started when she was six months old and now she's almost nine months. And she truly just like eats whatever we eat, which makes it so much easier. Like when we're out, I usually will just order whatever I would normally order to eat and then just share with her. Sometimes I'll order her own, like I'll order her like a side of fruit or, you know, her own like scrambled egg or whatever. But for the most part, we usually just share. Um, I feel like I've shared this before, maybe it was on my Instagram, but the resource that I used to kind of educate myself about baby led weaning was that there's an app and there's also an Instagram. It's called Solid Starts and that will really help if you're just getting started. Hi. Hi.
Don't ask me. I'm Don't not ask you what? I'm not talking to the reporters. There are no reporters. I'm not talking to the reporters. Tell them what's going on. Well, I got walked. Wow. <laughs> the score was 11 to 3. Mm -hmm. And I was just getting warmed up. Uh -huh. I always win the second game. So yeah. I was about to win the second game, but then we got kicked off the courts because there is a pickleball league mm -hmm. tonight. So what could you do better to win next time? I said I'm not talking to the reporters. <laughs> We were playing pickleball today, but there was a league that actually just kicked us off. We were at, Rye was sleeping in her stroller, so we were gonna go to another court, but we were waiting for her to wake up, and she just woke up, so maybe we're gonna try to go. Are we gonna try to go to another court? I don't know, we'll see. Us playing pickleball lately has been wanting me, has been making me want to be in a pickleball league. Like, Definitely not this league, they're rude. <laughs> <laughs> competitive side keeps coming out of me, and I just wanna win. I need to win and I want to be in like a tournament or something. So this, these next, the end of the summer and into fall, I'm about to be practicing and getting into a league and y'all can come to the, to the matches. I'm going to be a uh, Serena out here. I'll be at the matches observing. I'm oh. probably not good enough to make it into a league. You can play. Anybody can play, I but know. I am going for the dub though. I'm not though. trying to get a walk. So join me on this journey. Please stop. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're back home, and right now I am about to feed these little kids. I can't say little girls. As I'm doing this, I'm over here realizing a problem. Nash really likes Rue's food. And obviously, you know, Rue eats the farmer's dog, and the farmer's dog is great food. I ain't tried it before, but Rue told me it's good food. Literally, as I'm preparing Rue's food, Nash is like doing that. It's okay. Oh, hey, 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 that's extreme. Buddy, we gotta teach you patience. Rue, sit. Yeah, that's my girl. Rue knows patience. I put a little bit of farmer's dog in Nash's food. Okay, Nash. It's like, how do I yell at him? He's so cute. The other problem is, as soon as I put Rue's food down, Nash goes straight to it. So what we've been doing for breakfast, we've only had Nash for a few days. Um, for breakfast, I've been putting Rue in the guest room because Rue just will just chow down. She don't need no attention. Nash Greer. I put Rue in the guest room and then I just have Nash enjoy his food out here. So, all right, Rue, Rue, you go first. Come on, mama. Okay, you guys are both coming. And then I just close that door. You, mister. Okay, buddy. This is definitely new territory for me, especially with training two dogs and just having two dogs in general. I'm still trying to figure out the things. Y'all please DM me, or if you're a vet, or if you're just a dog trainer, or if you just have multiple dogs. Even when Nash is still on the same food as Rue, I know he's gonna be wanting to, after he's done with his, eat some of Rue's. So, how did y'all figure that out? I know it just, it just comes with time. I'm starting to remember that with Rue. What are you doing? Work hours are over. Closing out the vlog. Work I hours. need to close out a dog on haircut. Comment down below some middle names for my legs. <laughs> maybe, maybe my butt. Oh, what? Comment down some middle names for Nash. We kind of have one in our head. May the best name win. Um, also, pray for us tonight. Um, Nash has separation anxiety. I have, <laughs> last night I had to sleep next to Nash. And um, you've slept on the floor of the plastic few nights. Yes, so the who? Plastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm correcting Savannah now. Pray that that little man I sleeps good back. and does not wake his um, parents. Nash up. keeps trying to bite my nipples because I think he thinks it's his mom's nipples. Oh, okay, goodbye. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Bud, you okay? Ouch. 